For you, um, talk about like you are, listen, 12 children? Yes. 12 kids. Um, obviously, your first. And, and counting, some may say. <laughs> and counting. <laughs> nah, I think I'm, I'm good with my dirty dozen right now. Let me ask you something. <laughs> Do you ever regret not getting Kim Kardashian pregnant? <laughs> you try to go viral. I'm just asking. I'm just asking because I, I look back at your history and I'm like, man, if there was ever anyone that you could have put one up, a, a bun in the oven, it could have been the billionaire. Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> I'm tired of going viral every week. They already got mad at me about what I said about Taylor Swift and uh, oh, you did say you Christina Milian. So I know that's now he says he's gonna get Kim Kardashian. He regrets because how old were Kim, how old was Kim when you dated her? Uh, we were both like in our mid twenties. Was this post Love Don't Cost a Thing or pre? Just right after Love Don't Cost a Thing. Such a classic fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. just like a great movie. Man. Nah, man, it's fun. I, we're back. I, I, mean, I stepped away from from. Uh, I, I kind of make like one movie a year that, that I own and control, but I think I'm gonna dive back into movies in a little bit, like probably in the next five years, and and kind of get back to that space of like making classic content for our community. You, have you thought about like? There, like the lack of good comedies anymore. It's crazy. Like They're done. That, I think cancel culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just oversensitizing. Just we the, lost all our, our our rated comedies that no made it. There's no more good comedies. Yeah, Hangover I think was the last. Girls Trip big, was great. Yeah. But yeah, there's like since since um Hangover. Yeah. Girls Trip and Bridesmaids are the only two that yeah. make up. That yeah, and like, those are I don't I don't were those I guess those were were those R rated comedies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. It's been 12 years since yeah. we've gotten like a classic hardcore comedy. Yeah, nah. We, I'm, even in the sense of like you said too, just stuff that even that, you know, you can sit around and watch with your family too. Like we don't have none of those like family films. We don't have, yeah, like, where are Forrest Gumps? Where, you know, like, where's the stuff like that? Everything's that we, like Marvel or yeah, fucking. Yeah, you know? like Billy Madison or yeah. Waterboy. Like that shit. I remember Waterboy opened at $80 million his first week. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, it's, it's kind of crazy because I always think like, I'm like, someone rich enough, hello, <laughs> uh, needs to come along and just be like, fuck it. You got to focus on it though. That's yeah. the thing that to make a good movie, you got to focus on that shit. Like, one, it takes the money, uh, but then it also, you got to make sure your marketing is, is together on the post. And even, like, you can't make a good movie without having a great script. So it's like, it's stuff like that that you just, it, it it's, like, I've done independent films really well, right. too. But then because you can make the greatest independent film in the world, but if it don't reach the amount of people, then nobody ever really, really know except for the festivals that gave you, you know, your little laurels and crests. So... If you to do a great classic film, you got to check the boxes from development all the way to it's actually in the theaters. So it take it takes it takes. Trust me, people ask me all the time, man. You should do more movies. It's like that's the most con time uh, time consuming shit out there. I bet is yeah. to make a good movie. A now, good you go, movie. You could put you could put some hood classic Tubi shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shouts out to Tubi. I fuck with them heavy, but Tubi's like Tubi's running it up. Yeah, yeah. But but if you. If you want to make some classic shit, if you want to make Menace to Society, Boys right. in the Hood, uh, Drumline, Love Don't Cost a Thing. I mean, like, I think, you know, probably for the culture, they did it the right way. Uh, I love what, what Mike B is doing from, you know, I feel like Creed will go down as, as, as classics. I feel like Black Panther will go mm -hmm. down as classics. But anything else for the culture ain't resonated except for, like, those those. Jordan, two. I mean, obviously Jordan Peele's putting out some crazy yeah but would you horror movie yeah would that is that are we are we gonna be talking about though i'm just a question like are i we, think i think get out absolutely get out for sure get out i'm not sure us or uh what's the, the last one the other one fuck it just came out yeah see that i mean yeah, you, see, <laughs> like, there you go. like but no offense but i'm like because you only can and what time will tell as well you know what i mean like like people People didn't really start fucking with love. Don't cost a thing. Heavy into back then, it was out on home video. Right. You know what I mean, it did decent in the in the theaters. But then once it was constantly playing at your auntie and your mama's house all the time, then it became a classic. So you know, maybe these films that we're talking about today. But I'm saying the ones that feel like you know what we talk about. We talk about Love Jones. We For talk sure. about Do the Right Thing. The wood. We talk about the Wood Boys in the Hood. There's like, none of that shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, crazy. Or people try, but they come short yeah, every time. Like I've man. I've come short. You know, but I was like, damn, you know why? Because the studio didn't. Like, I made a film called that everybody, it's a hood classic, like school dance, but everybody was talking like. Is that the one James is in? 
James uh, Jefferson Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. everybody was talking like when we was making it, they was like, oh, this is like the next Friday because Pete we Davidson's had, in it? Yeah, Pete Davidson, Tiffany Haddish, Cat Williams, George Lopez, Mike Epps, Kevin Hart, Lil Duval, like Lunel. We had everybody in this motherfucker. And it's hilarious if you right. watch it. But because Lionsgate didn't market it correctly and they didn't they didn't they didn't really know what they had, they just threw that shit out there. So it's like you got it when I say from the script. To the time, like it's fucking in the theaters and like the marketing, all of that, everything got to be pristine. Well, would you ever try to develop like a scripted like drama or comedy or something oh, yeah. like we that? We got some shit. We got some shit coming. Like I, I got, a, I got a pretty. Uh, like I said, I got deals at all of these different. Because instead of like, I do feel like. We don't get it in movies anymore, but we do get it in shows. Yeah, we do. And that's Snowfall's a, Fire. Yeah. There's some great comedy shows. Yep. Like, so I got, uh, we've been developing for a while and I just, you know, I I, I like making more moves and less announcements, but I can, I can tell you about the shit that we've been cooking up and spending money on is uh, uh, me, E-40, and Too Short uh, got the Yay Area Project. Is that the one Simba's in? Uh, no, no, not that okay. one. That one's fire. Like that I heard Simba's playing too short. In, yeah, in yeah, I, yeah. I heard okay, about. Okay. No, I'm talking about. This is like a series that the three of us are producing. Ooh. That's gonna be like the same way that you see the BMFs, the the powers, the so the, you the guys, wires. You guys have a home for it yet, or are you just trying to put it together and then shop? Yeah, it? I have some things I can't talk about right yeah. now. But it, yeah. I heard Fifty Cent's leaving Stars. They could use you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you that's, that's good business over there. But I mean, like, I do have a few deals set up around town that allow me to do scripted things. So we excited about it. 